All right, so here today we are with a pretty cool group of guys and mom who doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> they have a company here in the Albany, Oregon area. It is called ADG Camper Vans, and we want to show you one of the vans they have to offer. This thing is pretty dang cool. So I want to introduce you to the team here uh, that builds out these really cool vans. So uh, I'm Milo Arneson, and these are my two sons, uh, Caleb Arneson and Christian Arneson, and we build these vans together, kind of a father-son team. So this is actually the first van that they built out, uh, but they have one, as you can see in the back here, that one's actually headed to Florida, and they've also done a few other Ford Transit vans uh, because they don't only do builds from start to finish. If you have your van and you need some work done, they will do electrical work, things like that. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Our goal is to, to do full builds um, and you know to take orders, but uh, not everybody wants a full build. Somebody, some people already have their own van, so if they want to bring their van and you just need, maybe you just need your cabinets put in or you just need your electrical done. Uh, we can we can take a look and look at your budget and what we can do and see if we can make something work for sure. That's awesome. And you guys probably can see that they have some really cool roof racks, running boards, things like that. And if I can remember right, you guys build those yourself. We do, we do all of our, all of our accessories. Uh, it's all aluminum, so it's lightweight. And it's all professionally powder coated. So we do the roof racks, the ladders, the spare tire carriers, the running boards, and uh, a few other things like the license plate relocation kit that we built. These are really high quality. Like you said, uh, you know, it's powder coated. It's going to last, and they look really, really good. I mean, some of the best that we've seen in person. Uh, you know, you get some of these from. I don't want to say uh, commercial manufacturers that are pushing them out tons at a time and you get a lot of defects in those. We've seen that on vans we've owned, other people's vans. But these right here, you can tell it's, it's made with love, it's made with the family. So before we actually enter the van and show you guys the beautiful work that's been done in here, I wanted to just ask the one question I know everybody's gonna ask. What does this have for batteries? So we have two 300 amp hour lithium batteries in here, total 600 amp hours. Um, we have a 3,000 watt uh, Kise inverter that's also a charger, so it charges back at uh, 100 amps from shore power. Uh, we also have uh, 50 amps of alternator charging as well as uh, solar, 400 watts of solar. That's a pretty beefy system. So as most of you know, we've had uh, a Travato, a Storyteller, and now a Winnebago Echo. So we have had right around 600 amp hours in every rig that we've had, and I can tell you firsthand that is going to get you a lot of off-grid time. So running the AC, things like that. And that brings up my next question for you, AC. Yeah. You, I already know because they told me off camera. <laughs> but this has a 12-volt AC. Yeah, so it's got a Dometic RTX, 1000, RTX 2000 uh, 12-volt AC unit. I think it's around 6,800 BTUs. Uh, so it's perfect kind of for the size. and. It's, it's not oversized, so it's not going to be drawing unnecessary power. It's plenty efficient, um, and, and you can run it off of uh, uh, your battery all day without charging. Yeah, so that's the big thing here. Uh, as you guys know, we've had traditional just power sucking the life out of our system ACs, and 12 volt is what I've discussed, uh, and we've mentioned it on camera before. It is the way to go, really, if you're trying to live van life and the most efficiently because like you said this is gonna go literally will go all day you can run your AC run the fan from your AC stay cool uh, and being that you're in such a small space do you really need 15,000 BTUs no it's overkill you'll freeze yourself out you're wasting a lot of electricity and that unfortunately is really all that they have to offer when it comes to most traditional uh, RVs you're getting these you know 120 volt systems that are just power drainers and on a 600 amp hour system you're gonna get probably five hours in really hot weather eight uh, if you're using a traditional 120 volt uh, AC system but with this system right here this 12 volt you're gonna get all day literally all day back and forth turning it on running your lights doing everything so it's a pretty beefy good system and the next question that people are gonna ask is 
What do you do for heat in this? What's the heating source? What, what kind of system? So uh, we have a full Rixon's uh, hydronic heating system. Um, uh, there's a gas furnace underneath the van that runs off of the, the, the vehicle's main gasoline fuel tank. Um, and that, uh, that heats your glycol system, uh, but the system can also be heated from the engine running uh, as well as 120 volt electric from the batteries or from shore power. Um, so once that glycol system is heated up, it goes through heat exchangers and we have forced air heat as well as uh, in-floor heating and it'll uh, heat your hot water as well. So now we are actually going to hop up in. We're going to let Christian show us around, kind of walk us through. Uh, we'll start up here in the front and kind of just work our way back. So right here in the front, we're going to have Christian kind of just walk you guys through the uh, rig from front to back, as I said. But right here has a really cool bathroom. Yeah, this is our full wet bath. Uh, so it's got a toilet. This is a five gallon cassette toilet actually holds about four gallons of fresh water and then uh, five gallons of waste super convenient because you don't have to go and try and find an RV dump station you just uh, it's like a little suitcase you pull it out and you can go dump it in any public restroom um, so that's pretty cool yeah, that's what we have in our echo and yeah. we've told them on camera it's honestly we used to not like it mm -hmm and then we got into something actually with a cassette toilet, yeah. it's the way to go. Because it's just like you right. said, you can pull over, go to a restroom, dump it if you need to, an emergency. If you're out on public lands and they have like vault toilets or pit toilets, mm -hmm. you can dump it in those. Yep. You know, so it's just truly the way to go. Yeah. And what do you have uh, for fresh water uh, like capacity? Uh, we have a 20 gallon fresh water tank and it's underneath the van. So makes it nice that there's uh you know it's not taking up a whole lot of space but it's completely insulated so it's ready for you know the winter so yeah excellent so uh coming back here what do you what do you have going on so we've got the kitchen it's obviously i mean it's probably the centerpiece of the van whatever but everybody wants it. who doesn't want a good kitchen you know so we've got pantry right here for all your food storage that's pretty cool. As well as all these drawers. So we've got, in the top, we'll start with the cooktop. Two burner cooktop. And uh, that is 12 volt. And it nice. plugs right in to here. Nice little outlet system. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I like the touch of color. <laughs> yeah. I like that gold with the blue. That's pretty cool. Right. Um, down here is actually a storage compartment. So you could fit a suitcase in there. Um, put a clothes rack maybe. That is pretty hefty. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of just colors, as I noticed, like we were looking here, you told me like off camera, this is laminate right here. Yeah. But then something really cool over here is your countertops. Yeah, so this is a custom epoxy countertop. Uh, actually, it's the same epoxy as the shower. So. Um, all the shower, shower panels are, it's like a kind of a cement, made, meant to look like a faux cement. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It looks, you guys, I don't know like if the camera's gonna do it justice or not, but I'm like, I'm touching this, it's nice and smooth. It's, it's like, but it looks like cement. Like, it's, it gives it like that modern, uh, modern appeal to it. Mm -hmm. and, it, it and you know it's quality because it's epoxy. Yep, and that's the same as the countertops. Um, kind of like, you know, people love cement countertops but obviously cement would be super heavy in a van yep. and you know we kind of want to go with the light the lightweight option so yeah so it's like it's yeah. giving you guys the high-end cement countertop look but without the weight but it still has the longevity and quality to it because it's epoxy which I'm sure most people watching this are going to know epoxy is some strong stuff yeah you can uh, you can take a penny and scratch the countertop it won't scratch the countertop, but it'll wear the edge of the penny. <laughs> that, that is incredible. Yeah. And it looks like you have a pretty deep sink here. Yeah. Is this a uh, extended? It, okay, it does extend, awesome. yeah. So that's, uh, that's kind of perfect. Good water pressure. And then I see right behind you, you have a fridge. Oh, like. yes. We tried to go with a pretty big fridge. As big as, big as possible. Yeah. So. I don't know what uh, what the actual dimensions are. Dimensions are right. I'll put it this way: this is the biggest fridge I've seen <laughs> in a van. Like yeah. It actually is. Yeah. 
The camera's definitely not doing it justice. That is big. Right. So um, right here we have our air fryer oven from GE. Um, you can do anything with this. I mean, you could probably bake a pie in there. <laughs> you got air fry, roast, bake, broil, toast. Um, so that's, that's yeah, pretty Yeah, it's a pretty neat. good size. You know, yeah. like you guys could easily make like a mini pizza in here. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys, I put my hand up to it. It's like, you know, right. two and a half my hands wide. So you probably could easily make a little like 10 inch pizza or something in there. Right. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's a feature you do not see uh, pretty much in 99% of vans out there. So that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're here at the back of the van now, as you can see, I got the fridge right here. We got that awesome air fryer oven right there. And you have some really good seating right here. Yeah, we tried to make it to where you could seat at least four people. Um, so if you're out camping and you want friends over for dinner, uh, this will seat uh, maybe even six people. <laughs> I don't know, it depends on. Yeah, it's pretty good size. Yeah. So yeah, with like four adults, you're our size, you know? So we're like, you know, we're, I don't know, stats, average. but we're yeah. <laughs> average, you know? Like you guys know me, I'm like 250 pounds. So, you know, I could easily, stretch out right here somebody can sit next to you and it's a lot of space so definitely like really thought out the seating um and when it comes to the seating specifically uh where do you where's a table attachment here yeah uh, so actually right underneath me there's a this is the lagoon table mount and i can actually show you real quick this just slides on like that. It's easy, easy to use. And we'll throw yeah. over, uh, I'll throw over for everybody right now, the actual table being taken down to the bed. Right. Because not only is this, of course, your seating, lounging area, dining area, yeah. but this is also your bed. Mm -hmm. So do you know the dimensions offhand? Uh, I believe it's, so it's a like a full. So yeah, it's really, really comfortable, really thick uh, cushions here for the bed and for the seating area. And then you said down below, you also have m even more storage. Yep, this is this whole thing is storage. Actually, the heater, uh, the forced air heating is right, right up front, the front, but the rest of it is storage. So you can fit uh, camp chairs, uh, maybe a little too short for a snowboard, um, but yeah, anything else you can think of. And then you also have some uh, entrance right here, some openings to yep. some more storage it's more storage just, for maybe bedding or even clothes yeah, i mean that's pretty pretty deep too i know yeah. you guys probably cannot see this on the camera but that's goes in there pretty dang far uh and it goes down too pretty deep so you definitely could store like definitely clothes in there uh you know if you needed to throw in some extra uh, blankets things like that and yeah. then this one doesn't go down like that side does but it goes back so you definitely could store a lot in there yeah and up above, we've got storage as well, uh, but the kitchen area and all up in here. Uh, so, so it looks like you have like six really good size yeah. and deep storage uh, compartments. So it's like, you guys, with the storage down below and the storage up top, you definitely are, not, there's no lack of space here. Like, from our experience in the Travado and the Storyteller, this is more storage than those. Uh, just, you can't have enough storage when it comes to living in a van, of course. Uh, especially if you're a couple or if you're traveling uh, with a dog. Uh, this this makes a difference, this is well thought out. And you guys probably can see, like this is the shiny, just kind of modern white. And then down below, as you guys can see, it's like this bluish, uh, I don't even know, navy blue, I guess you would say. Yeah, navy. So it's it's just really like a good clash of colors. Uh, and then they threw in some gold uh, with this really nice backsplash. And then they kind of like, they just gold accents in here. So it's got like kind of like a modern farmhouse, I guess, feel to it, I guess is what I'd say. <laughs> um, which, you know, Brittany and I saw this right off the bat and we just fell in love with the colors. Um, and of course, this right here, Bruni really likes. And I just didn't realize how big this fridge was. Like, I really wish uh, 
there was a way for me to show you guys how big this fridge is because uh, I know the camera's not doing it justice but and really in general it's just everything in here is pretty spaced out like it's open it's comfortable um, and it just provides you really everything you need on an efficient system and then I want to show you guys this uh, before you know we go to show you something cool on the outside it's gigantic mirror and I did I notice that it's backlit yep so <laughs> it is backlit so you have a backlit mirror right here uh, because I know for a fact that is something everybody asks for on a van they're like I need a mirror because you're working with such a small space it's hard to get a mirror so we've really nailed down the mirror right here and just for a reference guys we're actually gonna have Christian get in here uh, and show you size so I don't want to go into details but Christian's like a pretty like muscular he's a bigger guy like he's not 5'11 yeah we said average uh, but yeah. like he's he's bigger than an average dude he's he's <laughs> more muscular than that so oh, thanks <laughs> so he can fit in that like yeah you know I'm, I'm like with my hair I'm touching but like yeah that's almost yeah. almost fully standing up and he has like good amount of space to move his arms yeah. and uh, him and I were just talking off camera this is actually a really cool squeegee shower yeah. door and it has a really awesome texture to it and as you see you can't see through it it just it's a nice it's a nice shower uh, <laughs> for sure yeah and like for me I would have to just duck a little bit so it's, it's pretty good so I told you guys that we were gonna finish out here and it's because I wanted to show you something that I really like uh, I think it's essential really in any van um, is a good set of tires good wheels and a lift so you guys on this have the off-highway van, three-inch? Three-inch lift, yeah. Three-inch lift, so we're familiar with that because we've worked with off-highway vans. We love their products. Lifts are phenomenal in the ProMaster. And then they threw on the KO2s, just like we had. And yes. then you guys have Black Rhino. Black Rhino wheels, yes. So it's just, and these Black Rhinos, they're kind of like the uh, grayish with the flakes. So they match the body paint of the ProMaster. Um, which if you guys remember from previous videos, I always said like I like the ProMaster color But it was either you had to go black on them Because I didn't think chrome looked good on like I don't like chrome on uh, <laughs> any wheels Right. <laughs> um, but they, they found these in the gray with the flakes and they look really good And I think I could be wrong, but I think in uh, different lighting They're actually more of a bronze more of like a bronze. Yeah, so <laughs> right now they look gray, but yeah, so that's I mean they, They're pretty cool looking um, so definitely an A-plus on that. All right, so I told you guys that they do all the custom fabricating when it comes to their running boards, the roof rack, and they have mounted, it looks like, a Fiyama awning right here to their to their custom roof rack. Mm -hmm. And this is a manual one? Yeah, manual. manual. So you guys know my opinion, manual's better when it comes to awnings after the carefree Travato incident of self-deployed issues and mm -hmm. Uh, everybody out there that has, you know, the carefree awning, whether it's Travato, Winnebago Revel, Echoes, etc., whatever you have with that on there, you guys all know about the issues. And we all probably have the same opinion. It's just better to go with a manual uh, awning, and Fiamma is kind of king of the manual awnings. They've been doing it forever, and it's just easy. You know it works. You know it's going to deploy when you want it to deploy, so it's the way to go. All right, so we are in the selfie mode right now because Brittany is over there talking, but we just wanted to thank you guys for showing off this awesome rig absolutely um, and like i said they are working on a couple ford transits you have worked on yep uh the, this is on the pro master so if you guys are interested i'm going to drop all their information down below uh, that way you can contact them if you like this one this one is for sale right it now is, yep. um, the other ones that you saw in the background those are going one's actually going to florida thanks again guys thank you and yeah, i thanks. really appreciate it uh remember this is uh this is top quality van right here so if you're if you're really thinking you want to go the van life route even though you've seen us in the more commercial uh on the market vans this right here is quality versus production line so i just want to leave it on that that is the difference between this and what we have about to leave already packing come with me i'm 
not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't